for this great gathering of your sons, daughters, alumni, alumni, family, and friends in the serenity of this moment of grandeur we have come in expression of our human gratitude for such a divine reality. You've noticed that we've really taken special note of this date, April 23rd, 1951. Really something amazing happened in this building. Something amazing happened that allowed in Prince Edward County, Virginia, here in 2011, for you to be able to sit in this auditorium and look around and see an audience of people not all of whom look like you. And, and if we'd been here 60 years ago today, that's not the way it would have been. On behalf of the museum's board of directors, Lacey Ward, director, and staff, it gives me extreme pleasure to welcome you to the Robert Russo Moton Museum, Center for Civil Rights and Education. Tonight is a night of great anticipation. While we are not fully complete, we are knocking on completion's door. We are celebrating the 60th anniversary of the student walkout led by 16-year-old Barbara Johns, April 23, 1951. You'll be introduced to some of the plaintiffs who daringly participated in a lawsuit in the face of personal detriment, Davis versus Prince Edward County, which became a part of the landmark Supreme Court case, Brown v. Board. The early board members and the Martha E. Forrester Council of Women worked diligently to ensure that the building would be saved and is now on the National Registry of Historic Buildings. There is yet much to be done, and it will be done. This is, for me, a wonderful uh, opportunity and delight to be a part of this particular project. My life's work seems to be now to be involved as much as possible in telling the untold stories of people of courage, people of great character, such as the young people who sat in this room 60 years ago to make history. There are so many untold stories of people who have done extraordinary things in their lives. These are the kind of stories that young people today need to know about. Help us bend the arc of history towards justice, toward Lacey Ward and the Moton Museum, toward Barbara Johns and the Davis plaintiffs and their families and their legacies, because by doing so, you do precisely what this museum represents and what Barbara Johns represents. You bend history toward dignity and toward justice. Tonight, the Moton Museum board and staff would like to honor the plaintiff who called for change, the teachers who instructed them, the parents who stood behind them, and the author who chronicled their experience. On April 23, 1951, a Moton High School student by the name of Barbara Johns delivered a passionate speech to her student body on the stage behind me, expressing how she felt about the inadequate school building that they were taught in. She convinced her fellow classmates to go on strike. On May 23, 1951, one year later, attorneys Spotswood Robinson and Oliver Hill filed suit and sued the County School Board of Prince Edward County and Superintendent of Schools, T.G. McElwain. This case, known as Davis versus County Bo School Board of Prince Edward County, became the first student-initiated case. This case was later combined with four other cases that became known as the landmark Supreme Court case Brown versus the Board of Education, Topeka, Kansas. Tonight, we honor those students and parents who supported this case by becoming plaintiffs. Because of you, all public education is no longer so-called separate but equal. Rather, all children in the United States can receive an integrated public education. On this special evening, each plaintiff will receive a plaque. These plaques are slates from the chalkboard that many of the students were taught on, taken from the classrooms you visited this evening. Pass the word on to all of the children so that they'll know whose shoulders they're standing on. 
But because unless you know from which you've come at, ladies and gentlemen, you don't always know exactly where you're going. 